will be talking about deterministic finite state automata. A DFAM is a five tuple containing a finite set of states, a finite set of symbols, the alphabet, a transition function, a start state, and a set of accept states. Key facts to remember. Every string takes a exactly one path through the machine. Any string that is not in the language ends up in a non-accept state. DFAs recognize regular languages, and DFAs do not contain lambda. A transition table is a table representation of a machine. The arrow represents a start state. The asterisk is the final states, the first row is the alphabet, and the first column are the states. Here is an example. The set of states is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. The start state is state 1. The accept state is state 6, and the alphabet is AB. Our transition table shows that from state 1 on A you go to state 2. On B you go to state 1. From state 2 on an A you go to state 4, and on a B you go to state 3, and so forth. Types of deterministic finite state automata. First we have a counting machine. These accept strings with a certain number of a member of its alphabet. These keep count by changing states. The machine on the right accepts strings with at least three A's and three B's. Type 2 is a cyclic counting machine. These accept any language specified by a cyclic length, such as even length, number of A's is a multiple of say four, length is two more than a multiple of five. The number of states needed for a multiple of a number machine is that number. For instance, a number of A's is a multiple of seven would need seven states. To the right, we have a machine with the length of a multiple of four, and on the bottom is the length one more than multiple of four. Notice that the accept state is moved over one. Next, we have substring machines. These accept strings where the input contains a specific substring. To create these, we have an algorithm. First, you draw the backbone, which accepts the substring. Second, you number the states 0 through how many other states you have. Third, you put an AB loop on the accept state. Fourth, you write down the substring associated with each non-accept state. And five, for each state, you decide where to send the missing transitions. First, you write down the substring associated with the state. Second, you append the letter that needs a transition to the end of the substring. Then you see if there's a state for the entire substring. If there is, you send the transition to that state. If there isn't, you delete the first letter of the substring and then check again. Then if there is nothing left, you send it to the start state. Here's an example. First, you draw the backbone of the machine. This is a BAAB machine. Then you put an AB loop on the accept state. Then you write the substring for each state. On one, you would have a B. On two, you would have a BA. Three, you would have BAA. And four, you would have BAAB. Then you add the missing transitions. State zero, you would add an A. Is there an A state? No. Then you delete the first letter. There are no letters left, so you make a loop on that state. State 1. On state 1, you have a B, so you would add a B to that. Is there a BB state? No. Then you would delete the first letter. Is there a B state? Yes. That state is number 1. So you'd add, add a B loop to state 1. State 2, you would need a BAB. Is there a BAB state? No. You delete the first letter. Is there an AB state? No. Delete the first letter again. Is there a B state? Yes. You make this transition from state 2 to state 1. State 3. Is there a BAAA state? No. Delete the first letter. Is there an AAA state? No. Delete the first letter again. Is there an AA state? No. Delete the first letter. Is there an A state? No. Delete the first letter again. There are no states left, so you make a transition from 3 to 0. And that would be the end of that machine. Next we have the minimization algorithm. 
First, you make sure the machine is de deterministic with an explicit trap state. Then you partition the set of states in, into accept and not accept. Second, as long as your partition changes one step to the next, first you consider the states of the subsets two at a time. If two states pass the following test for each character of an alphabet, they can stay in the same subset for right now. The test is, two states pass the test for character X if their individual transitions on X go to the same subset of the previous iteration. If two states fail the test on any character, they must be placed in separate subsets. When the partition has stabilized, make a state for every subset in the partition. Step 1. You partition into accept and non-accept states. The accept states on this are A, C, D, E, and F. The non-accept are B in the trap state. Step two, you check to see if two states can stay in the same subset. First, we check states A and C. Do they go to the same subset on A? A would go to D, and C would go to E. Yes, they do. On B, A goes to B, and C goes to E. Those are in different sets, so A has to move. Then we check A and D. Do they go to the same on A? Yes. On B, A would go to B, and D would go to D. No, they do not, but A is already out of the set. Then we check A and E. On A, they go to the same place, and on B, they both go to B. So they can stay in the same set, which means E gets moved into the set with A. And A and F, they go to the same place on A, but not on B. But A is already moved out of the set. Then we check C with D, C with F, and D with F. And those all can stay in the same set. Then you move to the second set and test B and T. Both B and T go to the same place on A, but not on B, so B gets moved out of the set. Then you do this test again. And for this test, they all pass. Since there were no changes from this iteration from the past one, then you can move on. Then you make the states. First, you make a state for each of the sets. Then you make tra a transition from that state to the state containing the combination of where A and B go on all states in the new state. First we have the old transition table and we make the new transition table. We combine A and E. On A they both go to B and on B one goes to C and two goes to F so they would go to C, D, F and so forth until you get the machine at the right. Next we have combination machines. You make a combination machine out of multiple DFAs. And first you make sure all trap states are explicit. You make a start state by combining the names of the start states of the original machines. Then until all states created during this have a transition for all alphabetic characters, you select a state in your combo machine, XY, that needs tr a transition and a character W, which it needs. Combine the state where X goes on W with where Y goes on W. If the state is already in the combo machine, draw a transition to it labeled W. Otherwise, add it and draw a tr transition. For an intersection machine, you make any states that are combinations of two accept states in the original machines an accept state. For a union machine, you make any state that has at least one accept state in its label an accept state. If it's an intersection machine that does not contain any accept states, the intersection of those machines is, is empty. Step 1, you make the start state from th these two machines would be 1A. Step 2, you combine where the states go on A and B into new states. Then you go until all the states have been used. So from 1 on an A, you go to 1, and A on an A, you go to B. So that would create a new state called 1B. From 1A on a B, from 1 you go to 2, and from A you go to A, which create a new state called 2A. You do this process until you have all states. Then you draw a DFA without the accept states. To create 
Intersection machine. The accept states are combinations of accept states from the old machines, which would be 5a, 5b, and 5c. For a union machine, the accept states are any state with at least one accept state from the original machine, which would be 1a, 1b, 2a, 2c, 3b, 4b, 5a, b, c, and d. Next, we have complementary DFA machines. First, you make sure the machine is deterministic with an explicit trap state. You make all original accept states non-accept states, and make all original non-accept states accept states. To check you run a string through both machines, it must accept in one and only one of them. This is the complementary machine of the odd-even machine.